Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to part 2 in comments with Reactive UI and Xamarin Forms. Today we are going to talk about handling exceptions in Reactive comments, so let's get started. I will go to the contacts view model that we have created a few sessions ago. Here I have a very basic method called the clear search, which simply uh, set the property of search query that has written inside the entry to empty. For now, I'm going to comment this code and throw an exception. Exception. This is an example. Then I will start the application and hit the clear button. Okay, now if I click the clear, as you can see, actually now it's not clear directly the message even if you check the code here the message about the exception is not clear it's not like a normal exception because reactive ui handled the exception in, in a different way in comments here i have my command called the clear command i declared it as i command which is an interface provided by net and the value here or the object created is of type reactive command. So the first thing I'm going to do, I will change this from I command to reactive command. But reactive command is a static type. Here it's generic, I will say UNT, UNT. What unit means in reactive UI, like this is a comment and the action doesn't receive any parameters and it returns no values. So it's simply a void method and doesn't take any parameter. Reactive command, as I have mentioned, is a static type, but this generic type is a normal class. And unit means nothing, void. It takes no parameter and it returns nothing. So here, now I have clear command is of type reactive command. Handle the exceptions. Clear command dot. Here I have a property called thrown exceptions. It's an observable of type exception. You can subscribe to it this way, ex lambda, it receives this ex, which is the exception. And here we can, let's print the message of the exception in the debug dot right line, ex dot message. Now let's run the code again. Okay, now let's hit the clear button again. Okay, as you can see, this is the message. So it's simply like a try catch, but here in a totally different approach. Uh, actually, the current scenario it depends on the developer. Some developers like this approach, and some developers uh, don't. But for me, I prefer it because in this scenario, like. The place when you handle your exceptions, when you handle the exceptional situations, is different than uh, the business logic or the flow of your code. And for me, I'm not a big fan for try catch, so I always try to <clears throat> avoid a try catch uh, as much as I can. And now, inside all my functions, I can write my flow normally whenever anything exceptional happened. You can simply subscribe to the throne exceptions observable here and handle your specific situations. This approach, it, as I've said, it depends on the developers. Some developers like it, some not.